Right, here we go. I'm going to make a drawing in 3D CAD. I use a Libra fine. Start with a new part. I turn my things off for pictures so I can turn them back on. Make it something simple. Whatever it is, give it a colour just to make it look pretty. Go for reflectivity, and that's it. And now then go up, and on mine I export it, um, and I'll do it on the desktop, I think. Just as uh, it serves no purpose really. Change the file to STL. In here, I have lots of choices, but what file is STL? Save. And then close that down. I'm not going to keep it. And it should be on my desktop, which is there. And no low sky forward. Look to the settings I've got here, which extrusion, my ex extrusion, which is what I want. I've got it set for four in multiple copies. I don't want that. So we'll just change that back to one and one. Save all. And that will adjust and save my settings now so that it will only print the one thing. Now I need to go and load the file. Which is going forward. I look in uh, you know what happened there. Right. Test part for video. Open it and you'll see that Skyforge is now bringing in and slicing the part into many parts. In this case it looks like it's going to be 83 or more. Do this one down so you can see what we Once it's done those slices it then sorts out how the tools are going to move around what way they're going to do that so we'll let it do its part
noise in the background is me 3D printer whirring away trying to print a balloon car. I may just have got the design slightly wrong in the sense of scale being much too small. And yeah. Because I've put in so many holes and also the height of the bar, that's why it's taking um, a little bit longer. Depends on the complexity of what the touring has got to do. But bear with it. Although it may take a little bit longer, I wanted to show you the differences with the holes so it will be able to follow the tool path when it goes around the chart. Um, you, you'll be able to see its path with a bit more interest. If there are any videos that you want to do with the Sunpod and software that uh, aren't covered, then please let me know. And I'll do my best to either explain what's happened or make one up for you. So that particular procedure took 1 minute 38 seconds, it's now going through its various other bits and pieces. Now come up with the chart. Where it's gone. And if you look at this chart, that's the item we're talking about printing, looking down on it. If we go back to layer number one, that's the first layer, line 256 is where it is in its process. We get rid of that, put that to one. Now, if I print, if I click on this button, you'll see that the arrow is going around, and that shows you the path of the print head. Now, on the orange, now it's laying down the beginning part of it, and it will do that through all its lines. But if I wanted to just make sure that it's orientated right. If I click on it by layers, then it will show you that's the inside honeycomb. That's the first layer of holes in the bottom there it would be, building all the way up now through to the top. And that tells me that it's orientated in the right place and it will print in the right manner because we're going up in layers from one to whatever it is. So I'm now confident that that will print exactly what it is I've asked for. So I don't need to go any further with that. I can close it off. Oh, there you are. I'll stop now. And it saves the file, which is the G code file here. So it uh, gives you the path, then test part for video export dot two, that reference number, G code. And it took three minutes and twelve. So when we come to the next video in the next part, that's the file where I need to load in. So I hope that was of use to you. Thank you.